Retailers keep getting hit harder and harder because the way that things are evolving in the world and online. But there actually are some that are doing very, very well. So if you're in a brick and mortar business, if you have offline locations and maybe multiple offline locations, there is things that you can do to actually scale out of the current situation and to flourish and to have a really bright future. So today I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can do if you have a brick and mortar location and you're looking to grow. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so I'm going to go over four things and one bonus thing that you can do if you are a retailer, you have a brick and mortar location, and you're looking to transition into what might be a better situation in the future. So the first thing that you want to think about is you absolutely need a website, right? You need a website and you need something called distributed commerce. So you need not only to be able to sell one place online, which would be through a website such as a Shopify website, but you also need to be able to sell all around the web. So you should be looking to set up an online store. And then in addition to that, you want to sell on Amazon, you want to sell on Walmart, you want to sell on Target, you want to sell on Equid, you want to sell on Google Shopping. You want to be able to make your product available all around the web. And a great place to do that is to start with a website with a Shopify site. And Shopify even has a new point of sale system that's going to allow you to do a transaction right there and then to complete that transaction, it's gonna go right into your inventory management system. So step one, get a website set up and integrate with all the different places that you can sell online. You're gonna be so happy that you did. Okay, so number two, you really need to think of your retail location as your showroom, right? It should be really nice, it should be beautiful, people are gonna stop in from time to time and that's great. But long term, you really need to think about online as the way that you're gonna be delivering information and you also need to set up a delivery system so at any point in time you can ship right away for somebody who comes in. So, you know, the, the store, it's great, it's important, and I'm gonna get into in a minute like how to set up all the hyper location targeting and actually get people into location. But long term, what's your super fast delivery system so that if people come into the store, you can have something shipped right to their home right away. So it's gonna be really important that you look at things like Courier Gateway, ShipStation, or Fulfillment by Amazon. These three options are going to make it so that you can have things shipped really quickly at any point in time. Okay, item number three, you need a local and you need a national advertising strategy. So your local strategy, that's gonna get people just around your area. So you wanna make sure you have really, really heavy remarketing, really, really he heavy advertising to people who have either come to your website, people who have come to your social profiles, or people who have purchased from you before. So you can set up audiences online so that you can advertise all to these exact same people who have already interacted with you. They're gonna have a higher propensity to buy from you. So what you wanna do is you wanna set up about 20 mile radius around your location for your targeting. And then you're gonna to want to set up YouTube, Facebook, Display, Google, Bing, TikTok, Snapchat ads. And what's gonna happen is anybody who comes in, who has interacted with you, they're gonna get hit through remarketing through all these different areas. And then you're also gonna to wanna to set up a prospecting audience that's just within that 20 mile radius. That's gonna be really inexpensive because when you do hyper local targeting or when you do audience specific targeting that's just around a small group, it makes it so it's not as expensive as if you're blasting the entire country and you're gonna have a much higher conversion rate at the same time. So make sure you set up those local ads. You want everybody around you to get very, very saturated with the things that you're creating. Okay, so now let's talk national level. So national is big. I don't think a lot of people realize how large the United States is, how large you know the entire world is. If you're just setting ads out there that go across you know the entire world, that's huge, right? You're not gonna have very many conversions. If you bring it back down to the national level, even that's a little bit tricky. So especially in any type of environment such as COVID or something like that, you wanna think about the state level. What's really going on on the state level, even pre or post coronavirus type of things? What's going on on the state level? What states are open? What's going on in that state? Are there any restrictions? Is there anything that you need to think about? Now on the national and on the state level, and even on the local level, but, but specifically here, it's a really great idea to set up shopping ads. So 
Facebook has shopping ads, Google has shopping ads, you know, Bing has shopping ads, everybody has shopping ads. Amazon, of course, has shopping ads when you think about it that way, where they can specifically make a transaction and complete it and buy directly from that platform. So you're gonna wanna be heavy for retailers on the shopping ads. That's a really, really big part of the business. Also really smart idea if you can use some of the new automations that they have for running your ads. Cause the, wrong, the longer you run those, the smarter they get and the better it makes it so that the artificial intelligence is gonna help you sell more of the product you're looking to sell. Okay, item number four, you need to have consistent promotions. So right now it's so important that you have promotions on a regular basis, either a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. And the more promotions that you can create, the more ads that you can refresh, the more that these platforms are going to enjoy the new ads because they always want to test new ads. They want to push the new ads out there. They want to see how they perform. And also the more that your consumers are going to be excited. If they see new things coming in, you know, they're seeing a new ad on all these different platforms I just talked about. They're seeing it through email marketing, push notifications, all these different areas. That's going to make them want to act. Consumers in retail, they love coupons. They love taking advantage of special offers. I know that for sure through years of seeing Discounts work incredibly well. Okay, one more bonus item for you. So double down on social media. So important. Social media is now bigger than it has been really ever. It is at this point where everybody's online, everybody's on social. So the social ads, the native ads are big, but also just organic social media. So taking the time to create custom graphics, taking the time to create things that are different that people want to interact with online can get you huge reach. So I highly recommend that you've got an interactive content social media strategy. Okay, so these are some of the things that retailers can do to update their strategy. It's really important that retailers get super savvy with local marketing, and then they also get really savvy with e-commerce, distributed commerce, and online advertising. That's gonna allow them to scale long-term. If you can set up a good cost per acquisition model for all of the different networks that I discussed, so Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and you can create ad creative that's highly engaged with, that gets good click-through rates and good conversion rates, you can have a ton of success online. Couple that with a great shipping method and making sure you keep a close eye on your profit margins, and that's gonna be the wave of the future for online retail. Thanks so much, have a great day. Leave a comment or a question if you have any. See you next time, bye.